You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today Sudanese President Field Marshal Omar Hassan Al Bashir upon his arrival to the kingdom on an official visit. After a short intermission of the Grand Royal Protocol Hall at Al Sakhir Air Base, His Majesty's convoy and his visiting guests headed to Al Sakhir Palace where an official ceremony was held in honor of the Sudanese president.
شرف جهاز التفتيش سيد Then His Majesty the King and President al-Bashir inspected the guards of honor who lined up to salute them. President al-Bashir then greeted senior officials from the Bahraini side while His Majesty greeted members of the Sudanese delegation. His Majesty the King then held talks with the Sudanese president with the two countries' delegations present. His Majesty welcomed al-Bashir and his delegation, expressing thanks to him for the visit and pride in the Bahraini-Sudanese relations. He hailed the cooperation and coordination between the two countries, affirming the importance of developing bilateral ties in all fields. The importance of holding the work of the joint committee between the two countries was emphasized in order to discuss the completion of the agreement signed between them. The agreement signed between them developed Bahraini-Saudi relations. His Majesty directed to take measures to open a Bahraini embassy in the Sudanese capital Khartoum. His Majesty reiterated his thanks for the noble and honorable stances Sudan takes towards Bahrain and its people, expressing pride in the contributions of the Sudanese people in supporting development in the kingdom and pledging to strive to maintain the outstanding relations. He also commended the brotherly cooperation between Sudan and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, expressing thanks for Sudan's participation in maintaining and protecting Arab interests and supporting Arab causes. For his part, President al-Bashir expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the generous hospitality and His Majesty's keenness on developing bilateral ties, expressing his country's aspirations and keenness on enhancing and solidifying cooperation fields with Bahrain. He emphasized that Sudan has high respect for the kingdom. The two parties discussed the current Arab, regional and international developments and shared viewpoints on issues of common interest. His Majesty hosted a luncheon banquet in honor of the Sudanese president and his accompanying delegation. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali al-Khalifa, headed the convoy of honor. 
The Sudanese president was accompanied by Minister of the Presidency, Fadl Abdullah Fadl, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ibrahim Ghandour, Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Badreddin Mohamed Abbas, Minister of Water Resources, Irrigation and Electricity, Mu'taz Musa, Minister of Investment, Mudathir Abdul Ghani Abdul Rahman, Minister of State and Director General of the Office of the Sudanese President, Taha Usman Ahmed Al Hussein, Sudanese Ambassador to Bahrain, Abdul Rahman Khalil Ahmed, Director of the Political Department of the Presidency, Abdul Malik Al Barid, Political Department Department of the Presidency, Omar Haider Abu Zaid, Director of the Arab Department of the Foreign Affairs, Ministry Abdul Munim Ahmed Al Amin. The Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and his accompanying delegation departed the Kingdom of Bahrain after an official visit to meet with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and discuss topics regarding bilateral relations and recent developments on the Arab and regional levels. The President was seen off by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Information Minister Ali Ramehi, the Palestinian Ambassador to the Kingdom Taha Abdul Qadar, and Deputy Governor of Muharraq Governorate Zuhair Al Absi. The Royal Court announced that the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, will arrive tomorrow to the Kingdom to hold talks with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the bilateral ties and ways of developing them in various fields in addition to the regional and international developments. The Royal Court welcomes the guests and his accompanying delegation, wishing them a pleasant stay in the Kingdom. Bahrain maintains its position as one of the favorite venues for hosting the Formula One race. The various ticket booths are witnessing continuous activity and wide public interest. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. A journey of fun and unparalleled thrill is about to start. The countdown for the Formula One Grand Prix is almost over. Less than two days to go for one of the most unique experiences in Bahrain. Especially that this year marks one of the biggest regulation shakeups in the history of sport intended to make the cars faster and thus potentially boost overtaking. For the 13th time, Bahrain International Circuit, the one-of-a-kind facility, earns itself the perfect tag of the home of motorsport in the Middle East, hosting the race with world-class preparations since 2004. Tickets are offered at a broad range of price points for fans of different budgets. Officials and salespeople are reporting great ticket sales. We are enjoying great uh, ticket sales. The uh, fans, motorsport fans from Bahrain and from the region uh, are having a lot of uh, attraction on the tickets and uh, we are enjoying very good ticket sales compared to the years before. We've been attracting a lot of customers from all ages. Uh, most of the blocks are taken at the moment, are sold out. We do have few seats left. Uh, people are actually interested and really excited about attending the Grand Prix, all the entertainments, all the concerts. Whenever you pass by a Formula One booth, you'll find it busy with fans of all ages and categories, from Bahrain, the DCC and different parts of the world, looking forward to experiencing an adventure like no other. 
I found in Bahrain a very great organization for uh, this uh, event, and uh, I liked Formula One, and it came here from Italy uh, to see that. It's a huge event, it's really, it's, it's very impressive, and uh, we are very excited to, to watch it actually. Excited about it, it's uh, quite a family event. So, uh, I mean, there are a lot of other things, activities as well, I mean, with the Formula One. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it, and it is one of the biggest events of the year. I'm going to the rest, I can't wait for it. Bahrain is ready, the cars are gearing up. The fans are awaiting an overdose of velocity, adrenaline, and pure excitement, all rolled into our world class track, along with a bundle of breathtaking events for all members of the family. Getting of April, you start to feel it in the air. It's the Formula One season. Everyone is excited for the upcoming event. People are crazy about it, and tickets are almost sold out. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Over 100,000 people have touched down in Bahrain ahead of the Grand Prix, where the lights will be shining bright for the 2017 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix as the country gears up for the biggest sporting and entertainment event of the year. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. All eyes will once again be on the home of motorsports in the Middle East as it hosts the third round of the 2017 Formula One World Championship. And the BIC has stepped up its preparations across its 5.412 kilometer Grand Prix track for the fourth night race held under BIC's state of the art floodlighting system, where the world's fastest single seaters will be shining in the Sakhir Desert. Uh, since 2014, we've introduced the night race. We've seen uh, a lot of uh, wonderful things happen with the night race. A lot of people have been able to come, whereas it was difficult for them during their working hours. Uh, and a lot of preparations uh, go into it uh, as far as generators, as far as trans transformers, substations. Uh, we check, check, and double check uh, everything to ensure that uh, the lighting is uh, well prepared. And uh, there are backups and backups of backups for that. The night race is now a major fixture at BIC, expanding the season and allowing the circuit to offer new opportunities to motorsport enthusiasts and continues to be a statement of intent for the future of motorsport in the Gulf Kingdom. It was a very strategic decision um, to shift to a night race and uh, I'm happy to say that uh, the reaction was fantastic. We have seen uh, a dramatic uh, positive reaction from everyone. Um, I'm, I'm happy to say that the main reason was uh, the three o'clock uh, start of the race, which was during the daytime, was very difficult because Sunday is a working day. For Saudis is very difficult, here is very difficult in Bahrain, but when we shifted to a night race at 6 p.m., that suited everyone. The overall success of uh, any event uh, in motorsports is the teamwork, where all teams come together and uh, they work very hard prior to the, uh, to the event itself in terms of training, refreshments, uh, going through the regulations, uh, studying each and individual sectors in the, in the circuit and how to uh, tackle each uh, incident, what to do, what needs to be done, and uh, the communication between these people. All sorts of upgrades, maintenance, and setup work are being done all across the Sakhir facility, covering every other corner of the BIC, as it preps to welcome fans for the highly anticipated Bahrain Grand Prix. As the countdown for the 2017 Formula One race is in its final stages, the BIC has stepped up its preparations for the race weekend everyone's been waiting for. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Sheikh Mohammed. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,357.29 points, marking a decrease of 5.39 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 66% of total shares. 82 transactions included 4,372,627 shares, worth 1,271,080 Bahraini dinars.
under the patronage of the Central Bank of Bahrain and the strategic partnership of Temkin, the BIBF has announced the launch of a first of its kind annual forum and exhibition dedicated to cybersecurity, the Bahrain Cybersecurity Forum and Expo 2017. The BIBF's Head of Operations, IT and Project Management, Mr. Ahmed Naimi, said that with cyber attacks being on the rise, cybersecurity has now become a priority for many organizations in order to protect their data and information. In addition to leading international companies in the field of cybersecurity, the forum and exhibition will be bringing in top-notch speakers, trainers, and companies such as NGN, Vauban, GRC360, and many more. The expo will be held under the theme Explore, Engage, and Secure, where participants will explore in the latest technological trends, engage with international experts, and secure their business data. The CBB is also set to inaugurate the second annual Middle East Asset Management Forum on the 15th of May 2017. Industry thought leaders and key players in the asset management industry are set to take part in the forum, which is scheduled to be held at the Gulf Hotel in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Held in partnership with the global investor ISF, part of the renowned Euromoney PLC Group, this flagship event sets the stage for critical discussions that will focus on asset management and market development and regulation, value-added tax, blockchain and fintech. The one-day conference, which will gather more than 200 international industry leaders, focusing on the outlook for the economy and markets, followed by a series of panels and expert speakers.